Right, I'm now embarking on a series of films, small films, um, based on cartoons which I drew. I, I've told you before, I was in the film business uh, for a very long time and um, doing post-production with a co different companies. One was called Lewis Rank first and then it was um, Jeff Axtell. It's all a long story, plenty to tell there. But at the moment, I'm just concentrating on my cartoons that I drew. I sort of got in the habit. If somebody annoyed me or if I didn't like somebody or... Uh, I used to just find myself, I don't, it was never sort of consciously decided on, I'd find myself sitting at my desk knocking out a little drawing, um, piss-taking drawing or whatever, and uh, I'm showcasing these, and one person who used to annoy me all the time was Austin, um, he was <laughs> sniffing all the time, and talking about his gigs, he was good, he was a good um, bass guitarist, uh, he was a talented bloke actually, and um, also, he always used to have che loads and loads of cheese sandwiches for lunch as the cartoons will reveal. And so I've decided to make a film of Austin, who I used to work with all the time. And Ron comes in there. Um, there's a picture of Ron as well. I think the picture of Austin uh, is a good likeness, even though the crash helmet covers his face. It's still um, a very good likeness. You can see how skinny he was. <laughs> gig, gig, cheese sandwich. And... Um, so here we go with the first of the cartoons, which I have so many, um, it's unbelievable. But I'm hoping um, that you'll get it and like them. The first um, cartoon of Austin um, was inspired, well, well, never inspired, I suppose you, the word inspired is right. Uh, Austin, he came in one day uh, what do you think of my haircut? He, he had his hair done because he had a gig, and um, so um, anyway, he had it spiked. Uh, he's quite a, ahead of his time, really. Um, it was quite a long time ago, and he had a spiked haircut anyway. And being as thin as he was and tall as he was, um, I've never seen it. And with this this spiky haircut, I've never seen it. A human being looked more like a toothbrush in my life, so I had to do a cartoon. And this is the cartoon uh, which starts us off. I think it was one of the first I did of him. This next cartoon has got uh, Ron in it as well. Um, uh, there came a time when, uh, for a whole week, Austin was away and Ron was away, and uh, we got very suspicious about this and, and we got to think, wondering how it came to be that they were both away at the same time. It's very strange. So um, I just had to do a cartoon, guess, uh, surmising, uh, put in the proposition what they probably were doing. And um, this is what the this cartoon is all about. Um, you'll notice on the beach there's a ba there's big there's this guitar and there's a big bag of cheese sandwiches. Um, this is where I introduced you the, the cheese sandwich factor. Uh, Austin he, he used to have about 50 cheese sandwiches every day lunchtime without fail. Never I, I don't think in the whole time all the years I knew him I don't think he ever had anything but cheese sandwiches um, and that, hence the cheese sandwiches in the cartoon. Uh, Ron, uh, it was one of the most annoying people I ever met. Uh, I had to work. I, I didn't have much to do with him at work. He's he an entirely different thing. He was uh, editing. It was, I was the artist. Um, but he, he, nearly every day, he'd come along and, it, and he'd sit near me and he'd use my phone because... Um, I don't know why exactly. I think he was paid to make phone calls and usually to his wife. And he'd sit there for ages going, that's right, that's right, that's right. And I'd have to listen to this. It nearly drove me crazy. Uh, anyway, that's um, it's relevant because it's in the cartoon. Um, it's inspired a little bit in the cartoon. I made it making a comment about this in the cartoon if you if you can spot it. 
we fooled them, <laughs> didn't we, Ron? Geek, geek. They never geek thought we'd uh, have a whole week on the beach together. That's right. That's right. That's right. I was, um, I went into the camera room one day. Austin, by this time, was the cameraman. I went into the camera room and on the table was his 50 cheese sandwiches, as usual. But on this occasion, there was a spider on top. I didn't put it there. There it was. So this sparked me off. So I, I did three cartoons uh, with regard to Spider, as follows. <laughs> oh boy, Gary. I'm really looking forward to, to my lunch after a hard day's work. Glad I got rid of that spider. Hmm. <laughs> nice. Um, I think I'll leave some for Austin today. Um, what I do, um, and as a treat, I'll, I'll smear some rat's blood on the, the sa sandwiches I leave for him, and I think he'd like that. Yeah, that rat's blood is really nice. <laughs> Hello, geek. What's in here? <laughs> Geek, geek. Hello, Austin. It's me, Spider. Look, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it for lunch on Friday. But I'll see you on Monday. Oh, by the way, don't you ever have nothing but bleeding cheese? I'm getting fed up with it. Why don't you have something nice, like mouse dropping sandwich? Or rat's blood, or flies in it. Yes, flies in it. That's a really nice sandwich. See you on Monday. Okay, if you fancy any more about Austin, go to Austin Movie 2.